Good day. Um, last time I was recording, I noticed that um, my make file wasn't picking up changes to Svelte files. So I thought uh, today I'll have a quick quick look at that, see if I can fix that up. Um, so let's go into Go Ahead. And we'll have a look at, oh, I've got some Svelte files here. Uh, let's, okay, before I make any changes, let's build it. In here, and I'll, I'll get everything up. In fact, I'll do a make clean to make sure everything's there. Uh, no, I don't need to do that, I've done um, yeah, Make clean all. Make. So this will make sure everything's been built for all the binaries and everything. And if I do another make, it should, yeah, it says nothing to do at all. We're all, all done and clean. So um, let's go make a change and see if it gets picked up. Uh, I'll just add a comment here. That's all we need to do. Uh, hey, comment. It's just a bit of HTML there. So I'm going to save that. And this is in the GUI um, and it's front end source components. So let's go see if that gets picked up. I do make? No. Um, so if I even go into the GUI itself, the sub -gam, sort of a sub package as such, and I do make here, again, that's the problem. It's just not happening there. So let's go have a look at its make file and see what the problem is. If I can find it, there it is, I think. Yep. So um, we are building this binary and we're looking, we've got some Go source. We're doing some wildcards to make sure we pick up its own Go, um, package Go and the internal package Go's and then the mod files for the same areas as well. Then we've got HTML, CSS, JS, JSON, TypeScript, but no Svelte files. Okay, <laughs> so there's an obvious problem there. That's the issue. Um, and what we're doing, we're doing front-end source. It's as low as it goes. So that means, at the moment, it's only going down to this level. Um, and it would only pick up this CSS. It won't pick up any of this JS, even. Ooh, okay. Let me just double check that. Um, if I... If I just put a comment in here as well. And if I do a make, yeah, okay. So we've got a couple of problems with the make file. Uh, let's see if we can fix that up. So we have, uh, we have no more, mm, we've got no fonts or images there. Components are one level deep, JS is one level there. Um, this is actually generated. Um, so if anything in the go changes or in Wales itself, then all this gets generated. So I don't think I need to worry about that. That's not going to be uh, committed anyway. So we don't need to be looking in there. Uh, which is good because it's a couple of levels deep, but that's fine. We'll forget about that. Um, I have an i18 in there but that's only one level deep so i think i just need to add an extra level to all those things okay 
Hmm. I could get a little bit fancy here, but I think I'll just do the bare minimum first, make sure it works. Um, and then maybe in the future I can uh, do something a little bit more interesting. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take... It's all these. These are all the front end things. So I just need to basically tack on another level there. Don't think it does glob in. I don't think it will automatically go down into other... Oh, can it? No, it won't. That's why we've got the wildcard thing. OK, let's try this. I will do this and this. And I will just say OK. Hmm. We have front end source. Yeah, no, I think that's okay. We'll try that anyway. So, and we'll just hang that on there, and then we'll just change these up. So this is looking for TypeScript. Uh, this is looking for uh, JSON. And JavaScript. And CSS. Okay, so this should now pick up on the JavaScript change that I made. If I do a make in here, yeah. And let's double check that. If I do another comment. Appended. Run that again. Does the make. Now do another make. It should say, no, we're done. Okay. But if I go into the Svelte, I comment. And <laughs> it. Well, there matters. This is just. Stuff I'm taking out anyway, uh, it will not pick up the changes, yeah. Okay, because all we need to do is duplicate that and say, Let's have some Svelte files. and we'll rename this. Svelte source, um, and then we just need to add that on here. It's probably in the wrong place, really. I mean, it's quite important. We should probably have it earlier on in the list. But OK, um, and I don't think we're using, let's have a look, CSS. So that's an important one. Just those two places, okay. Right, so now, in theory, it will do its thing. Yep. And if I take out that comment, Don't mean to do that. If I do a make here again, it should pick it up. Oh, yeah, I was complaining about I've switched to Wales well, too. I'll fix that up in a minute as well. Um, make again, and it doesn't. That's good. Okay. 
let's get rid of the other little comment on here. And make. Make again, doesn't pick it up, that's good. Okay, and let's just give it a quick test. Um, so build bin snippet pixie gooey, and there it is, it's up and running. And that's the list, which is fine. Um, and I should be able to go in there and come out and everything. That's good, and that's done. A few messages on there now. Hmm. I'll have to have a look at that at some point. ATK bridge, really? That's fundamental. Hmm. Wonder why that's complaining. I'll have to have a look uh, later, some other time. Uh, good. Right. Make file fixed. Ensure GUI make file picks up any front end source changes. That should do. Okay. And while I'm here then Seeing as it's complaining about GoMod uh, using version 2 here, uh, when I'm now using Wells CLI version 2.1, let's do a quick, um, I think the quickest way to do that is just to run Wells Dev. And I think it auto upgrades all the, uh, yeah, because it does like a GoMod tidy there. So that should upgrade everything. For free. There we go. That's good. It's all. Oh, yep. That's fine. Hmm. Can I go to the end? I can. That's fine. Can I go back there? Yep. Yep. And if I hit, oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. That's fine. Yeah, it's all working. Looks good. Um. Oh, interestingly. Oh, well, it's not compiled, is it? Okay. Uh, what's the difference here then? Just a couple of things upgraded. Nothing to worry about, I think, there. That's good. Okay. Oh, and let's do a make clean make. No more complaining about 2.1 and 2.0. And if we run the binary, I wonder if it's going to fix that. 80k, no it hasn't, okay. Oh well, uh, if I run it in um, search and paste mode and do a paste, it still works, good. All right, there we go. Fixed. Um, 
update GUI for Wales 2.1.0. And I might as well push that now. There you go. So that's it. That's just fixed up a couple of little uh, tiny issues that I noticed uh, last time. So I think that's all I want to do now. Um, I will maybe investigate that AT. 80k bridge stuff some other time because I'm not sure there's anything I can actually deal with. So, not for the GUI anyway. If it was in the daemon, it would definitely be me. So, anyway, um, so thanks for watching. Hope that was a short and sweet one. Um, until next time, take care.